Well, it's been about two weeks, or almost two weeks, since my last video, so I think it's time to do another one of the garden here. Um, got a little bit of rain last night. I don't know exactly how much it was, because I had some rain from the sprinkler in my rain gauge, but I'd say it was around a quarter inch to a half inch, something like that. Just kind of caught the edge of a storm. So that's kind of spruced things up a little bit, although I have been watering a lot, too. I've got a lot of spaghetti squash getting mature here, starting to yellow. Once they get good and yellow, they should be about ready to pick. Um, there's a couple more right under here, and another younger one around here. It's also where it's growing up the trellis here. There's one hanging there. So I'm going to have quite a few of those, it looks like. Um, these black-eyed peas, I actually picked some the other day. Some of the ones that were furthest along. There's quite a few more to pick now. Quite a few older pods that are starting to dry out. And things are still pretty crowded here in this area between the squash and the beans and like these broccoli here. Um, these broccoli still aren't really making a head, but they're getting pretty close. I don't think I've ever had broccoli uh, mature this slowly before, but they're getting there. And they're nice, big, healthy plants anyway. Um, over here, the carrots. These carrots are probably about ready, um, ready to pull. They're probably not going to be tasty, tender carrots, considering the age on them and all this hot weather. I'll probably just put them straight into the freezer and use them for chicken broth. I uh, usually throw a few in each batch of chicken broth, along with onions and celery and, of course, chicken and a few other things. Um, same way with the turnips. I've picked a few of them, and they're pretty hard and woody from all this heat, so I may just throw them into something like that, too. I may try cooking some. I've never really cooked turnips too much, but they are pretty good that way, and they might be better cooked than raw. These beans are still growing. I think the hot weather had them just kind of putting on blooms and then the blooms would fall off without growing any actual beans. So maybe now that it's cooling off that'll help with that. There are a couple of pods. There's one down here. Um, I think they're not a purple bean, but they have kind of some purple streaks. So I may be able to figure out what kind they were from that. I had a kind once or had seed for a kind called a dragon tongue. And that might be these because they had some purple streaks on the green. But it may be something else too. Whatever they are, they're they're a climbing bean with, with a little bit of purple. Um, but like I say, mostly the pods have been just haven't been coming. I think it's just been too hot for them to really get the pods set on. And uh, so they've just been making blooms and making blooms, but there's a lot of blooms here, if they ever get going. Got more summer squash coming on over here. I've still been getting more than I can more than I can eat. There's a couple small ones down there that are just starting. And there are probably some some bigger ones back in here. And there's one. I found one one day that I'd missed. It was about the size of a dinner plate. Um, these things, still not sure what this is, but now that it's got these pods, it may, it may be mustard. I'm starting to get a, starting to get an idea now what this is. If it is, I'm going to have a pretty decent little batch here, really, on these few plants. Um, the peas are gone now. Um, I picked them after the last video I did, and then I... I was going to dig them all up or till them under or whatever, and then I saw a few more pods coming on, a few more blooms, so I let them go. But this last burst of hot weather has just really wiped them out. Um, there's, a, there's a green plant here and there, and like there, there's a couple of pods, a couple of pods right here. So I might pick, there might be a half a dozen pods here, and just a handful of peas, and get them picked and get them out of the way. And the onions, I think I'll go ahead and harvest the onions when I'm done with this video. Um, I've already, they they pretty much had all fallen over, so I knocked the rest of them over a couple days ago. And now they just need to be pulled and set aside somewhere to dry. Potatoes are starting to shrivel up, starting to dry up finally. 
so it won't be too long. I can start digging them. I'm anxious to do that, get them and the peas out of the way so I can put some things in their place. Um, i got some big beets over here. need to start pulling a beet every once in a while and using it. These bush beans, something's eating on them a lot, and I don't know what because I never really see anything on them, but something's worked on the leaves pretty good. But they are starting to put on some... They are starting to put on some beans. There's a couple of a couple of beans right there. So I need to get in there and see what they've got to pick. The Swiss chard looks good. Haven't really been using too much of that. It's been so hot lately, I haven't really felt much like cooking. But uh, now that it's cooling off, maybe I'll use some more of that too. These cabbages that I transplanted really look pretty good. I think maybe chickens might be pecking at them a little bit. That's kind of what that damage there looks like. It doesn't look like from worms or something. It looks more like a bird. So I may have to do something about that. These broccoli. Um, I think these... Not sure. These might be the ones I planted early from my own seed. They're starting to make a head. And so be, I'll be picking them before too long. Uh, these ancho peppers, they're starting to have a pepper on them here and there. There's one. They make a pretty good sized pepper, a mild, mild hot pepper. Uh, the jalapenos down here, this one's gotten to be a decent sized plant finally. The others are still pretty small. They've got a pepper in them amongst them here and there. Uh, more broccoli down here that are finally starting to make a head, a couple of them. The asparagus still looks good. The strawberries, some of the strawberries finally started to make some runners. This one here has got several runners out, started new plants. So probably, I probably won't do it in the fall, I'll probably do it in the spring. Um, dig those up and move them into a new row to start a new row. Um, my two melons here are starting to get a little weedy. I need to get out here and do some weeding. So there's a good sized lamb's quarter. Um, and here's a melon. So now I can start to tell what kind of melons these are. Let's step over to the other side. I don't remember the name of these, but I recognize them now. Uh, they had a French name, but I can't remember what it was. I'll have to look them up in the catalog and see. Uh, the other melon here don't think it has any melons on it yet, so I'm not sure what kind it is yet. But they definitely need to be weeded. I'm getting a little getting a little woolly out here. These radishes um, have mostly just gone straight to seed. I did pull a few. It turns out they're a black radish, um, a black Spanish radish. Um, something that probably shouldn't have been planted until about now for a fall radish. They're really well they're considered a winter radish because they keep they keep in the winter time. Um, probably really planted them too early, and the ones I did the ones I did pick were pretty hard and not very good. These flowers I'm still pretty sure are zinnias. I've got one starting to put on a bloom here, so I'll be able to tell pretty soon. Still not sure what these flowers over here are, but I am pretty sure they're flowers. Uh, the dill. Dill is starting to make heads. Not going to be a big crop of dill there, but you don't need a lot to make a few batches of pickles or something. Uh, the chives, the chives don't really look like much. Kind of wondering if maybe the chickens found them and liked them. Because they just look like they kind of been just nibbled down. Um, turning around here, sweet potatoes look pretty healthy. The sun behind me here. Um, still be a while. They won't be won't be digging them until nearly frost. And then there's my fennel plants. They seem to be growing. They still look half dead, but they do seem to be growing. At least parts of them, anyway. And these, once again, I'm not certain about. They might be turnips. They might be something else. They might even be a mustard or some kind of green. Some 
other summer squash coming on here. There's the yellow ones on this plant. And then there's a butternut squash, a winter squash. That's the kind that is orange. You generally fry them up or you can use them for kind of, you can use them for pumpkin pies and things like that. Here's a, uh, here's one down here too. There's, there's one, they've got kind of that more classic squash shape. I've got several of those around. Um, those are probably the viniest plants that grow the furthest, so they were coming, you know, they're coming up this trellis and over, and there's one just getting started. Small one hanging right here. So there you can see the shape a lot better. And they end up getting, you no know, 10 or 12 inches long, and they keep that shape, but they get kind of a yellow, yellow color to them when they get ripe. You can see a lot of these beans here have just really been eaten up bad by the Japanese beetles. Um, I haven't seen too many around lately, but I see a few here right now. So I guess I'll go get the powder after this and get them powdered again. The last rain would have washed it all off. Um, these beans down here just never really grew. They were there, but they just haven't really grown up this trellis much. So I'm kind of wondering if some of them maybe weren't even a climbing bean. These beans are, well, these are actually, yeah, these are lima beans, pretty sure. I don't see any pods yet, but I'm pretty sure these are lima bean, just judging by the shape of the leaves. They've grown plenty tall. They're up past the trellis and hanging down again. Um, and that's the same way going this way. I actually thought this section was a purple bean, a purple climbing bean, but they sure look like lima beans, so... It may be three sections of lima beans here and and no purple beans. I may have gotten mixed up. But whatever they are, I'll, I'll eat them. And the tomatoes down here are still still kind of small, still not vining much, but they are setting on a few tomatoes. So here's one. There's one right there. There's a few out there. So, and there's probably my biggest spaghetti squash right down in there. It's a good sized one. So After I pick some of this stuff I'll have to do a short video on just the stuff I've harvested lately. See there's a spaghetti squash just getting started right there. I'd say that's the type that is. So I think that's about it for this time. Oh there's another. There's a spaghetti squash that's about ready to pick. It's nice and yellow. And then you just cook it for oh, maybe an hour. You stick it with a fork around it for a while so it doesn't pop. Cook it for about an hour, cut it in half, scoop out the flesh, and off you go. So I think that's about everything for this time. Um, so right now, I need to till up the peas. Um, maybe pull up the plants, pile them up somewhere. Either that or just go ahead and till them under with the weeds that have grown up where they were. Uh, pull the onions, set them aside to start drying out. Uh, pick these cow peas, uh, these black-eyed peas here. Need to get them picked. Probably need to pick a couple of these spaghetti squash that are ripe. And that'll be about it for now. Um, and check all the other squash, see if they've got any that I need to take care of. Oh, and check uh, check that those bush beans over there for green beans. See if I have enough of those to pick. So I got a few things to pick here and get taken care of. And hopefully, in another couple weeks, when I do another one of these, I'll be digging potatoes and picking some heads of broccoli. <laughs>